It's me and my uh, soon to be ex husband. Is we still having, you know what, sex? I want my husband. I'm gonna travel the world. Well, ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Xavier, and I'm back at y'all with another video. Yo, y'all, so today, I'm gonna be doing Sunday dinner Q&A. So, while I'm cooking, I'm gonna be answering some questions that y'all ask me. Y'all keep asking the same shh. Y'all don't wanna know about nobody goals, future. Y'all just wanna know the mess and the T, which is sad. Um, a couple of y'all asked about, you know, what I see myself in this many years and how I am mentally and all that, which is cool, but most of y'all, like, y'all don't want to know about nobody goes. Y'all, a lot of people don't really support people. They just want to know the mess and the teeth. You know, people want to come around and show up when it's teeth or it's messy. But it's cool. Y'all already know Xavier. Oh, man, time and time, 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 time again. Give y'all a little bit of tea and a little bit of mess. Okay. Okay, y'all. For Sunday dinner, we got chicken. I'm gonna fry some chicken. It's a, it's sitting in here cleaning in some um and some lime. We're gonna do cornbread and we're gonna do creamy baked mac and cheese. Okay. So my water is boiling for my noodles. I'm going to start, what I am going to start doing, I'm going to start asking in my community, asking my YouTube family, um, you know, give me some Q&A questions because I think by me going on Facebook and Instagram with all the messy mugs at, that's why I keep getting these same questions instead of just asking my real supporters that's going to really watch and that's really here. I'd rather give y'all the tea and give y'all let, let y'all give me y'all questions. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, us YouTubers, we really, we usually go to Instagram, ask us some questions, Facebook, ask us some questions. And when we really could put in our community for y'all, our real supporters who actually on YouTube to ask us some questions. Why you in here peeking? Say hey. Say hey to the gang. Hello. Yeah, so. Hello. Let's get right into it. So y'all know the first question, the famous question, the questions everybody keep asking. Do you miss your ex? Do, do you miss your um, husband? No. <laughs> Y'all, I can't miss somebody that I see every day. Like, we got kids together. Like, I see him every day. Literally every day he comes see his kids. Or he bring a pop out to me. Or he just coming to see them every day. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't miss nobody that you see every day. But if y'all referring to, like, as the vibes and as, like, being a family, which I know that's what y'all referring to. But, like, as the vibes, um, I would say I really miss being a family. You know, what I miss is being in one household and being a family. You know, me, the dad, and the kids, and the vibes. That's what I miss. But, like, him and him as a person... I can honestly say no. That defeats the purpose of me leaving. Like, I know it's okay to miss somebody, but I don't really miss nobody that hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I wouldn't, I don't miss nobody that hurt me. You know what I'm saying? So, the vibes, yes, I miss. Being a family, yes, I miss. But, like, him as a person and him, no. Like, no. <laughs> no. You feel me? So yeah, I'm putting my noodles in there. Let that boil. Okay, y'all. So while my noodles is boiling, I'ma season my chicken so it can sit in the refrigerator. Y'all, I'm not doing the, this. Ain't no special chicken like um uh, like I kind of usually do like with the mustard and stuff because y'all Z not gonna eat it. So I gotta be really picky and stuff. Y'all know kids. I gotta be picky and stuff for how I cook certain things. Like if I add mustard or any little thing a change that she feel like it ain't regular chi regular season chicken, she's gonna know. What's the, what you put in here this time? This one tastes. For so I'm making, I'm a seasoning regular, make regular fried chicken. None of the fancy stuff with the mustard and the eggs, none of that. Okay, second question. For the nosy people and the messy people, people want to know is is me and my uh soon to be ex husband is we still having you know what sex? 
Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we are, but not like, well, I don't want to say we is. I just want to say we have, you know, a couple times. Um, yeah, we, we were still having woo 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 after the separation, you know. The last time we did it, I would say two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago, but y'all, my thing is, because this goes back to what I said, like, if you missing someone and why you haven't, still having intercourse with someone that hurts you, you know what I'm saying? But, y'all, okay, when it comes to this, and when, when I be having that feeling, baby, I would rather go to him instead of somebody new. Like, somebody new, I gotta build the trust up to do something with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I could just go to him, get him out the way, go about my business. And y'all, it's just like, it's no feelings attached. You know what I'm saying? When we do it, it ain't like we be caked up. We be, you know what I'm saying? If we do it at um, his house, he stay home, I go home. If we do it here, I stay home, he go home. It, it ain't, it, that's it. It be a, it's just like a quick, it's like a sneaky link. We be sneaking, linking, and that's it. <laughs> Honestly, y'all know I won't lie to y'all. But yeah, we, you know, we still do the do. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, with me, I can stop it. You know, I have self-control. But it's just like, when I have that feeling, I don't want to do it with it. It ain't nobody else that I want to do it with yet that I trust. You know what I'm saying? But my new boo gain away. <laughs> my new boo. Oh, I'm going to season with paprika talking to y'all. Uh, my new boo. Hands are washed. My new boo building his way up there now because I'm ready to then get on that man. <laughs> so it's gonna be on with my other dude. <laughs> Period. Okay, y'all. Now I'm gonna open these carnation milks. But next question, somebody asked, "Will I be mad if?" Big homie get a new girlfriend. Why would I? You know what I'm saying? Why would I be mad? I got me a little boo. No shade, no tea. But I got me a little boo. So why would I be mad if he... Y'all think I'm bitter? Let me know. <laughs> Y'all think I'm bitter? Or something? Like, no. I wouldn't be mad if he get him a little boo. Shit, I can't wait till he get one, Okay. So he gonna leave me alone. <laughs> and next question. Xavier, do you have a boo? Yes, I do. I keep telling y'all that. Hey, I keep telling y'all I got a boo. Y'all don't believe me? Nah, y'all just trying to make me show y'all something. No. But y'all, yeah, I got a little boo, but it ain't nothing serious. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing too serious. I ain't really taking nobody serious right now. It's just more like conversation. Stimulation, <laughs> penetration, no, I'm just playing. But no, it's just like, you know, somebody to talk to, somebody to kick it with, some, getting to know people, dating, basically. Like, yeah, like, I'm not taking nobody serious right now until I officially get a divorce in that soon. Like, I can't be out here still married and dating and ain't nobody gonna take me, I wouldn't take me serious. So, until I officially get a divorce and that's what my boo said to y'all he gonna say when you get that divorce then we could talk for real <laughs> so when i officially get a divorce then i'll start taking myself and somebody serious you get what i'm saying so my noodles is partially done i'm gonna drain them period and next question is xavier how you doing mentally y'all mentally i'm better you know what i'm saying like i was Y'all saw how I was spiraling out of control at the beginning, at the beginning and stuff, like, y'all saw how out of control I was. <laughs> so, but mentally, I'm so much better, y'all. Like, I ain't all the way there, but like, I would say like 75, 80%, 75, 85% better. At first, y'all, I used to be here crying out of my mind. Don't know what to do. 
study study on his page look at what he doing you know now i don't even have to go on his page look at his story and worry about like i don't even care what he doing no more like at first when the separation first happened like i was on his page and i was i was crying every night i was this and that but now i know i'm getting better y'all because baby i don't watch his story no more i don't i don't be crying no more i don't be saying no more. like i can sit with myself and be okay so mentally, y'all, I say I said 75, but I can say like 95. <laughs> and plus, you know, I've been the people around me been supporting me too. So I gotta give a thanks to them. But y'all, I'm better mentally. Like, like, like <laughs> who you know? Okay, y'all got my butter. While my noodles is sitting here draining, I'm gonna add butter to it so it won't, you know, stick together. So this will keep it separated and wet. And juicy. Papa! On that noise! <laughs> Y'all, he, he got a little ball. He having a ball. Um, Next question is, Xavier, did you start elfing somebody else yet? I already told y'all the answer to that. No, I haven't done it with nobody else yet. <laughs> yet. Okay, you hear me? Yeah, I haven't done it with um nobody out here yeah y'all this is a crazy world like and i'm scary you know what i'm saying like people be having i'm scary people be having all type of stuff you get what i'm saying like you just can't be jumping up having having intercourse with anybody who you think cute or having intercourse with anybody who you think got some money for sure that's not me you know what i'm saying so pump y'all brakes xavier is not out here freaking on nobody new like if i'm gonna freak on somebody like i told y'all I got to gain enough to know, like, I seen your math chart. Come on with that math chart. Yeah, come on with that math chart. Tell them, Z. <laughs> come on with that math chart. Come with that math chart. Let me know we cool. Let me know you just ain't trying to get in my drawers. And we can rock out. You can get some. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I got a little bit of downtime. Uh, I got my carnation, my seasoned carnation milk going. Y'all know I got my noodles in the sink draining with butter in there, so it won't stick together. And I got my chicken in the uh, refrigerator doing what it's doing. I'm not going to start my uh, cornbread until I put my uh, macaroni and cheese in the oven. So, next question. Would I be okay with um, Big Homie Blocks bringing another female around my kids? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, Z, you don't know what's going on up in here. Man, yo. Um, besides what Z said, um, yeah, if 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 she's I I wouldn't mind long as she not disrespecting, abusing, physically, mentally abusing um uh, my child, why not? Like like I wouldn't recommend bringing each female like you humping or you talking to around the kids. I wouldn't recommend that. But if he got somebody like he's serious about, why not? <laughs> That's gonna be the next person around them when they're around their dead. So I don't know. I would say I want my longest. Like I said, don't abuse my kids. Don't mistreat my kids. Don't pinch my kids. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to see. Boop, boop. You're you going to have to see these. You're going to have to see these. You're going to have to see these right here. I'm going to jail about my baby. You're going to have to. Oh, you're going to have to see these haymakers. Okay. Don't play with my kids. And that goes for anybody. So I got my glass pan while I'm gonna be cooking my uh, baked mac and cheese in. I have um, creamy cheddar jack, uh, two, two of those, two mozzarellas, and I got sharp cheddar and mac cheddar cheese. Is there a chance that we will be back together? Y'all, I'm gonna say this. It's possible if, you know, I got stuff to work on too. But, and I ain't gonna sit here and say I'm perfect, but I would say that I was okay in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? I was I was everything that I needed to be, in my opinion. If I'm wrong, hey, but that's how I feel. But I feel like if he do a 180, yeah, we may be can get back together. And I'm just saying like, as far as like protecting your family, 
you know what I'm saying? And and being there and not being childish and, you know, just become a man. You know, they say it takes men longer to mature than women. So he's not really that at that mature age yet. You know what I'm saying? And I really, I'm at the age where I dealt with all that in the past, my younger days, all that toxic stuff. I'm at an age where I want my man to protect me in the house and outside the house. And I want my man to be there for me and his family. And and I don't want to be with the, with the child again. Like we can't have a conversation. Like everything's a joke. Everything's funny. You know what I'm saying? And not no shade, no tea on nobody. It's just, I'm telling y'all, at this age, I know what I want. And like I said, if he could do a whole 180, which I doubt, no shade, no tea, yeah, we could make some shape. But I doubt it, y'all, so I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> so to answer y'all question, I don't think so. Say. Sure. <laughs> make sure. Every noodle is touched. Papa, what you yelling about? What you want? You want some of this baked macaroni? Huh? Use as much cheese as you want. Y'all know how to do this. I don't know why I'm telling y'all. I'm going to use the whole bag. Then I'm going to give you some mozzarella cheese. Okay. So our mac and cheese is in the oven on 400 for 20 minutes. We're gonna do this cornbread. Y'all, I don't, I never made cornbread from scratch. I be using my good sis Jiffy, okay? Now you go on your channel and make cornbread from scratch. Go over here, we're gonna use my good sis Jiffy, okay? All right, next question somebody asked is, how is the kids taking a separation? Um, y'all know Papa is young, so he don't really know what's going on. And Z is okay. She said we had a talk. She said she okay. She be acting okay. And everybody is okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, she like her new home. You know, I be asking her, like, do you like your new home? And stuff like that. And she be saying, yeah. She still see her daddy every single day. She talks to her daddy every single day. So like I said, it's kind of like the same. It's just like, we don't live in the same house. Mixer. I know y'all can't see, but. Ooh, it smell like cake. Okay, y'all, this is my consistency for my cornbread. Really like creamy and watery. And y'all, this smells like cake. This smells so good. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Someone asked, am I happy to be single? My answer would be no. Um, I'm, I'm for a relationship. Like I'm I'm made to be in a relationship. I'm not for the streets. Like it's as much as my haters and a lot of people out there really, really want me to be for the streets. I'm really not for the streets. Like I I need to be in it. I don't need to, but I'm the girl that needs to be in a relationship. Like I'm a lover girl. Like I want a man. I want a husband. I don't want to. I, I'm not the girl. I've never been the girl that dealt with multiple men. You get what I'm saying? I, I always been for one man. I want to be for one man. I want my husband. I want to travel the world. <laughs> and you know, I'm just a lover girl. That like that's me. Like I'm for a man. Like no, I don't want to be single. I don't want to. I spend Valentine's Day by myself, boo. No! <laughs> okay, y'all, here go my cornbread. It's going in the oven for 13 minutes. Bye. So as y'all can see, I straightened up the little bit. I wiped down like all the countertops, this in the stove. Um, I got my oil going for my chicken. I'm gonna get ready to fry my chicken. The cornbread and the baked macaroni and cheese is in the oven. Only have two more questions. I didn't have a lot of questions because y'all was asking the same thing. Y'all get back together. Why y'all break up? Y'all get back together. Why y'all break up? Do you miss blocks? Do, ugh, are y'all still? Y'all ask the same questions, but next question what i'm looking for in a next man um a protector a provider um 
a communicator and what i mean by that is like like let's talk it out like we don't have to argue about it like let's talk about it like i, I wouldn't say that was one of my weaknesses because i like to i like to talk i'm going to approach you about how i feel you know and if i feel you acting weird so i'm going to approach you about how you act you know like what's wrong let's talk about it so a communicator and somebody that's all about their family all about their girl like to take trips um he got to be tall he got to be with high dress this <laughs> He got to be tall and dressed this time. Uh, and he just got to be a man. You know what I'm saying? He got to be just an overall man. Okay? Okay, next question. Do I see myself getting married again? Yes, I do. Hell yeah, I do. What I was going to say, uh, like, y'all know how you, how you watch movies. And on movies, you be seeing, like, women be having to get married, like, for the third time. I be thinking about that, like, that's going to be me. Like, not three times, but, like... I, I want to get married again. I'm, and I was thinking like, damn, I'm going to be married twice. You know when you see movies and, and people and people in real life too. But I haven't had you been married. Motherfuckers been married like four, five. Like, damn. Five, you been married five times. Now, like the, at the second time we don't work, it's a wrap. Okay? It's a wrap. Because I ain't doing no three, four. No, baby. But, yeah, yeah, I do see myself getting married again. Uh, I want to be married again. Like, this is actually what I want. That's how I see my future in my life. Like, I wanted to be married. I wanted the happy family. I wanted the whole little shindig, you know? So, long story short, yes, I see myself getting married again. Like I told y'all, that was all the questions I had. Y'all was asking me the same questions about him and, and about the separation and stuff like that. I'm going to finish cooking. We're going to wrap this thing up, okay?